Hey everybody, this is my video on how to get some guitar tones using a real tube amp, the Sur Reactive Load Box, your favorite guitar, a couple pedals, and really for me, this is important to say that I have no patience when it comes to trying to set everything up, so this is, you know, about a year's worth of me figuring out how to do this so that I could just basically flip the amp on, run it through the Sur Reactive Load Box, get it into my DAW, record it, get the tones the way I want them in the IR program, and then basically just use an amp like you normally would. For me, I've been using real amps my whole life. I've only had a couple years where I've used like modeling or whatever the name is for modeling amps. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to use real amps with the IR, straight into your DAW to get some killer metal guitar tones. So here we go. Okay, so first things first here, we're gonna basically show you what I got going on. So I do have my, I have it all routed and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. But basically once you're all routed, you wanna pick a channel, I'm using Logic Pro um, and I've got you know one of my channels here set up. Uh, I'm gonna turn the limiter off actually. Let's just hear what the tone sounds like. Okay, so I've turned my limiter off. Usually I put that on the output just to kind of you know, even the level a little bit. But what you're gonna see is, um, I guess I could turn this, off. I really don't wanna turn this off, I because I have it all set, like I'm saying. Once you get your template set, for me having no patience, little to no patience, I wanna flip on my, my amp, the SIR is always uh, routed in, I wanna turn my program on, open up the template, and I'll, off I go, I have my tones. I'm just basically a guitar player, I don't wanna be an engineer. So the one that I've picked, um, and just to back up, I'm using the Ignite amps. For me, I like the sound of the, the GNR Dark, um, and we'll go through a couple of them. Those GNR ones sound really cool, so. So that's the first one. The other one I use is that dark. Okay, so what you saw me do was just basically pick my, my uh, GNR dark cab. Again, this is not meant to really go into the engineering or the, the crazy behind the how to download stuff thing. Um, IR loaders, the videos are out there. That's not what this is. This is how I get my tones using real amps. You know, in this case, I'm using the Victory Kraken. And um, so one thing that I've noticed based on the DI level, that's going to be based on your master level. <laughs> And so for me, when I see the blue light blinking on the reactive load box, based on where I have my master and my amp and, on, and for these settings, you know, basically it's not even at like, you know, 10 o'clock. So the idea for me is you get the amp to where it sounds good, you know, and then the cab kind of does what it does. So um, there's something else here that we can do. And that is we can move the high pass. <laughs> No high pass, and then more high pass. And you can see what it's doing. It's letting more of the high frequencies pass, and it's cutting off more of the low frequency. I think I had that right around, I don't know, somewhere in here. That sounds most like an amp would sound recorded. Um, and then the low pass, I don't believe I had it up that high. Okay, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here or anything. We're just showing you how I do this. So for me now, I'm forgetting about the IR. I don't even care about what that's doing. It's basically sounds like a good translation of a tube amp. And then the reactive load box is doing its job. We didn't overload that too much. Just where the blue light is um, kind of blinking. You know, once I get that all set up in the IR program, I just kind of turn that off and forget about it. Um, I do have a delay here. I'll turn that off. 
and now I'm just dialing my amp. So for me to get good tones, you know, obviously you want to have a guitar that is set up well, you know, easy to play and sounds good, you know, acoustically. Um, I have the Fishman Modern in this. It cuts in a particular frequency. You know, it's where, in my opinion, where a guitar should be. You know, you want to be right in that, you know, 200 to whatever, 2K. Let's pull up an equalizer here. And let's just take a look at the uh, analyzer. So you can kind of see where we're living here. You know, it's anywhere between, you know, and, I don't know, 5K. And a lot of guys will just, you know, do that kind of thing where they, you know, pull everything below 200. So it's not bumping into everything else. Anyway. So once you got that all going, now you just have basically the amp settings that you're dealing with. And that's where the comfort zone comes in for me because, you know, I just want to turn a couple knobs, man. On the, the Victory Kraken, you don't need a ton of gain. It's got a ton of gain already in there. So we're, the preamp gain, nothing all the way up to where I normally have it set. I mean, you can go nuts. Way too much in my opinion. I'm right I'm right here at like 10 o'clock. And here's why I do that is because I'm also using the, the tumness and I'll post the settings in in the picture below. So when I stack the game. nice sustain it's really compressed so the other thing you're hearing now is the uh, the amp noise so I have a little noise suppressor here and that gate is super fast and it's hundred percent so whenever the, the signals faded a little bit obviously you got to be in heavy metal zone to So the cool thing is, you get your uh, delay going. And so I love the fact that you have that delay without the hiss. So, you know, like without the noise suppressor. You can hear that signal in there. Kick on your noise suppressor, and you don't hear it. You only hear the delay. So you can hear where the guitar is living. Um, every guitar pickup, uh, everything's going to make a different, you know, you're going to get a lot of different tones out of the same amp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just kind of switch to a few different guitars so you can hear kind of the same thing 
uh, with a different pickup. So this is why, you know, obviously you'd be uh, keeping the same amp settings and getting some various uh, different tones from different pickups. So let's do that real quick. All right, now we have the Warren D. Martini with, I believe they call that the radius maximus or whatever and the quarter pounder of the neck. So now I've got my tumnus on, I've got my noise suppressor on, the amp is at the same setting, didn't even look at the IRs. Of course, we, we've now ignored the Sir Reactive load box totally. We don't even care about that because we're keeping it simple. Once that's set up, that's in the background. You, don't, you wouldn't move mics around a million times once you got a good sound, so you just leave that. <laughs> So this guitar has got a lot more open sound. Um, it, you know, the other guitar that I was playing, the Charvel with the, uh, the Moderns, the Fishman Moderns, those, you know, they're very nice and balanced. I use that a ton for recording because they're nice and balanced. This one's a little nastier. <laughs> So for this, I might just kind of roll off some of the gain on the tumness, leave the amp the same. And roll off the volume on the guitar. And then for this, since I'm, I got a low signal, obviously you want to kick off the noise suppressor, it's going to cut off uh, a lot of the tone when you're at quieter volumes. Okay, so that's super comfortable for me to play. Let's, let's switch one more time. Let's get something that's, that's a little bit different. All right, now I've got my 1990 RG570. This has DiMarzio Tone Zone and, you know, um, those are like the, the Paul Gilbert branded, whatever. He, he used the Tone Zone. I think that's a PAF in the neck. <laughs> Might have a little bit too much gain, so let's kick the tumnus off. Yeah, so for these pickups, um, little maybe a little bit hotter pickups than the uh, the Fishman are, and that's a very well balanced pickup to me. So. <laughs> So that's the Victory Kraken just by itself, and I might just, for this tone, I might just give it a little more amp gain. So you got to experiment with uh, different pickups, different guitars, you know, to have a couple different brands. Um, for me, Fishman, I'm a Fishman artist, so um, a lot of my guitars uh, that I use in the studio have those. 
And uh, you know, I really just think they're the most well-balanced pickups. Definitely not uh, trying to be an advertisement for Fishman in any way. It's just saying that um, you're gonna find what works best for you. For me, I think um, this is the simplest way to get tones, tumness, or some boost pedal in front of the amp. Not all that much gain coming out of the amp, preamp gain is what I mean to say. Uh, I like the noise suppressor because it chops the note off right after the decay. And you can use a delay on the on the DAW for your delay, or you know, it can just you know use a, a pedal in the loop or something. Um, so anyway, that's how I'm getting my tones. Thanks everyone for you know asking the question on how do I do it, and uh, you know take a look at the end of this video for how I route everything. It's super simple. Thanks for watching. Check you guys in the next one. Okay, you come out of your guitar. For me, I go into my pedal tuner. That goes into my tumness and I have the volume at about halfway, just a little bit of gain or maybe just a little bit more than that, depending on what your pickups are doing. The treble I had just about halfway. Then I'm going to my noise suppressor. And for me, I have it on max. And then I do have an amp switcher, which is just basically going into the amp. Um, all of that's being powered by my MXR ISO brick. And what you're gonna do is take your speaker out of your eight ohm, and that goes right into the back of the Sur Reactive load box, into the input. It says eight ohm load right on there. Take your instrument cable, and that's coming out of the un unbalanced DI out. And that goes right into your DAW. And for me, I have it on channel one. And I get that level just so it's hitting the yellow. And then for the front of the Sur Reactive load box, based on where my amp is set, this blue light just basically flickers whenever you have the right amount of signal. And then my amp master is set to about 10 o'clock. Just found that to be the best tones.